Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am your intuitive guide, Janisha, and I support you in hearing your intuition so you can navigate your life more fulfillingly. This is the daily general tarot reading for all 12 astrological signs for February 13th, 2017. I have linked my website and my email address below in the description box. If you would like to purchase a private reading, please reach out to me via email. These readings on YouTube are general readings, so not everything will apply to everyone. If you would like um, a reading where I help you hear the voice of your intuition a little bit more and uh, decipher the energies that, is, that are going on in your, your life specifically, please purchase a private reading. Um, I am running a um, Valentine's Day love reading sale on my website. It's only $59 for a love reading. If you would like me to help you get some clarity on your love life, please reach out to me via email. Um, I've also lowered the prices of some of my other services for Valentine's Day. I used to offer something called the Intuitive Life Coaching Series. I've changed that to Intuitive Guidance. And um, instead of it being a four-part session, it's uh, condensed into one session, and I've lowered the price of that. So if that is appealing to you, please reach out to me via email to purchase that. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, um, I want to give a shout out to the following locations. You are the locations that view my YouTube and my website the most. Thank you so much to New York, California, Maryland, and DC in the United States. Thank you so much to Delhi, India, um, British Columbia in Canada, and Surrey and Grenada in the UK. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think that's about it, so let's jump right into this reading. What is going on for all of us today on February 13th, 2017? So I got a new deck. It's called Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides. You all know that I love working with um, different like realms. I love <sighs> helping us touch base on the psychological um, on the holistic and um, holistic approach with chakras and with crystals. Um, you know I love to work with the angel realm. I love to do positive affirmations. So to dive a little deeper, let's work on our spirit animals, okay? My spirit animal is a wolf. What is your spirit animal? I would love, 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 love to know. And I would love to know how you figured that out. Okay. All right, so right now we're asked to embody the spirit of the tiger. It says, you're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. Okay, so it's about all of us just really stepping into our power right now. Stepping into our power, being bold, being courageous, having authority, and just owning it, really. Okay, I'm shuffling, guys. Okay, yeah, so we're axed with the King of Cups. We have to be masters of our emotions, okay? And we're not quite there yet. So that's why I'm sensing that there's some hesitation in really stepping into our power because we don't really believe we can do it, okay? There's like some insecurity or some fear attached to that. Mm. Okay, and we're, we're afraid of leaving certain things behind, certain like limiting beliefs surrounding this um, new stance on leadership that we have to implement into our lives. But we're getting there because this is the Eight of Cups. So you, you're leaving certain emotions that are hindering you behind, but you still have to gain some emotional intelligence in order to be secure enough in accomplishing whatever it is you really want to accomplish. There's some delay in um, letting go of something, though, of moving mo moving on into a new direction. But whatever is going on, we're going to get past that because we have the King of Wands right here. And we're really going to be in a really strong place in terms of our work life I'm sensing, okay? We're going to be in a really strong place. 
So whatever's going on, you're going to get past it, and you're really going to be on top of your game. Mm. But we have to make sure we do it in a very honest way, okay? There's, there's an undertone of, like, deception here with this Five of Swords. Okay, you want to always make sure you do things with integrity and dignity. Because it's not about, like, getting to a place. It's about how you got there, too. So there's a lot of water in this reading, okay? So I have a sense that this is specifically for a, a water sign. It could also be for an air sign because we have two swords that came up twice. And also a fire sign. So... It could be for a fire sign, uh, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. A water sign, uh, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or it could be for an air sign, which is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I'm sensing more water. More water. So I'm sensing this is specifically for a water sign. Okay? You have to kind of like slow down your emotions a little bit. And not be so reactive to the situation so you can get to this king of wands place that you're that you're trying to get to I would love a little bit more clarity though I love a little bit more clarity I welcome clear vision and inspired action. So you need to be a little bit more, you need, you need a little bit more clarity in what it is you're actually trying to do or how it is you're going to do it. So go within yourself this week to get a little bit more clarity on um, what you want to do to go forward. Okay. It says, it is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. So yeah, I'm sensing that for someone out there, you're having a hard time like, expressing yourself with the, with the cups coming out on an emotional level. You're having a hard time like expressing what it is you need or want or expressing your ideas and thoughts, all right? This is a very like emotional reading, emotionally based reading, Okay. It says, I surrender to the power of prayer and devotion. So you have to quiet your mind and get a little bit more clear and centered. Prayer and devotion could really serve you very well right now. Very, very well. And it says, the rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. Yeah, you just have to slow down. Slow down your thinking a little bit. That's what I'm sensing. Slow down your thinking. Slow down your thinking. Slow down your thinking. All right, trust. Yes, this is what you're lacking, trust. You have to trust. You're doing too much worrying and too much thinking, and it's kind of making you over emotional for for no reason. You're you're using up all of your emotional fuel. What you really need to do is to redirect that and turn that into drive and passion. But you're getting so frazzled because of your thinking and your worrying that you're depleting yourself emotionally. That's what I'm sensing, okay? It's like you're not really like saying what you need to say or what you want to say. So you're internalizing a lot of that and it's showing up as like emotional discontentment or like restlessness. Or you're feeling stuck because you're not saying what you need to say, okay? But look, 
the bottom of the deck abundance everything turns out fine you need to chillax and calm the you know what down <laughs> okay just be zen go inside yourself take a walk all right well everyone this is your, this was your your daily reading i hope it helped you and resonated with you in some way i love you guys so much thank you so much for all the love the likes the comments and the subscribes and i'll see you tomorrow all right i'll talk to you next time Bye bye